Defendants charged with first degree bias crime will no longer be allowed to walk out of jail the same day. That's because Oregon's Chief Justice Megan Flynn signed an order requiring suspect in the most serious racially motivated attacks be held in jail at least until arraignment before a judge. The change in statewide guidelines follows a racially motivated attack last summer involving a family of Japanese descent. Police say Dylan Kesterson punched a father and his five-year-old daughter while they were riding bicycles in the East Bank Esplanade. Kesterson was able to walk free hours after the alleged assault. He was subsequently linked to at least three prior racist attacks in downtown Portland. Kesterson's release back onto the streets after the alleged attack sparked citywide outrage. Asian American groups, prosecutors and crime victims pushed to change statewide policy that allowed Kesterson to be released. The guidelines for when to release defendants prior to their first court appearance is based on a statewide order that went into effect on July 1st of last year, one day prior to Kesterson's arrest. In general, the guidelines require that people charged with more serious offenses, including violent felonies, sex crimes, and domestic violence not be released until they appear before a judge. Bias crimes weren't on that list, but now they are, specifically first-degree bias crime. The courts are recognizing that bias crimes are serious, and it's a serious threat to the communities at large. Kesterson currently remains in custody, according to court documents, although his case has been delayed because he's refused to participate in mental health evaluations and won't come to court for fitness to proceed hearings. Chief Justice Flynn's order modifying the pretrial release guidelines is effective immediately, although each county circuit court will have to update its own policies by July 1st. Back to you. Kyle, thank you.